there's a lot of irony here. I put this up for some shade and almost entirely since I built it, <laughs> we've been getting storms. So I have no idea how effective it really is. It does seem like it's helping. So I'm shooting this about, I don't know, two weeks after I actually built this. The major improvement was I added these uh, long, longitudinal pieces of PVC pipe. On this side, I ran screws from the top down into the wood and also on the top. And the idea was that these are supposed to keep it from flapping. I'm gonna do a little more tweaking there. I've got some paracord coming. I think if I run a paracord along the edge and pull this down, because what happens is the wind flips it up, right? And I've got a piece of wire tie um, here or, you know, just, just a wrap of some galvanized fencing wire is what it actually is, just to kind of hold it in place. But with the wind, it catches the edge and flips it up. All right. So that's the main improvement there. Uh, another video which may or may not make it out, since I had this pole here, I just finished this today. I can hang a bike on both sides of this. So when I'm working on the bicycles, I can just basically set the bike on top so that the cross... Uh, tube of the frame rests on here and then the wheels are off the ground so you can pull the wheels or whatever you need to do That worked out pretty good It's pretty solid This one I offset it quite a bit because of the solar panels, so it just goes from here To the edge of the house. In fact, it's not even straight Because I wanted to make sure that it was away from the solar panel so I angled the whole thing over a couple feet so this corner is even with the corner of the roof instead of the corner of the house. So if it looks crooked, it actually is. Something like this, it didn't really seem like it mattered too much. This way I definitely have lots of sun hitting the solar panels. This side, I only had those two 4x4s four on the on the back, so I just used PVC pipe. It's a little bit flexible. It doesn't really matter, really. Um, and again, it's got the PVC pipe. In this case, I drilled a hole into the PVC and then there's a screw from the bottom that locks it in place. And on the top end, I just ran a screw up to hold it up to that uh, two by six that runs across. And that seemed to work. The other thing, a couple times the wind actually blew this up and out of the hook. So I made uh, a wrap of some more of that uh, galvanized wire and just tied it down to the hook so the wind can't flip it up and out. Otherwise, it's been, been pretty good. Um, when it is sunny, it's nice to be underneath it. You do feel uh, the shade. Um, I do hear some squeaking, and I think it's the, the um, PVC pipe in the metal hook. It, um, you hear that squeak, right? So that's what's going on there. Otherwise, I think it works out pretty good. It was funny, after this has been up for a while, uh, when I was editing the video from the solar panels, the very first shot is of the front of the house with nothing on there, and it looks so odd without this, because I'm used to seeing this now. So, yeah, overall, I think it worked out pretty good. Uh, the nets were about, I think about $25 a piece on eBay. Uh, I don't think these are actually military surplus. Um, they look like they're new, newly made. They're getting kind of tattered already from being out here in the wind. But I think if it lasts the summer for $25, and then I'll just replace it next year. I bought four of them. I've only put two of them up. I'm not sure. I was going to make some shades out on the other side for working underneath. And I'm just kind of waiting to see what these look like in another week or two before I bother doing that. One of the ideas, though, would be to run um, from the windbreak to that roof. I could kind of cover this area out here, and then I could work over here in the shade. Because uh, in, the, in the heat of the day, on a sunny day, it is pretty brutal. It's nice to get out of the sun for a while. So, But in this case, I'm going to get out of the clouds before it rains on me. Yeah. Okay, it's about 9.45 on the 26th. That's a piece of two inch PVC pipe um, being held up by a couple brackets that I made. So what I'm gonna do, I've got uh, some camouflage netting. 
I know I don't want to put a tarp or an awning up here because the wind will just shred it. I figured the camouflage netting was open enough the wind should just blow through it. So we'll give it a shot. Okay, I got my plan. Since I'm running out of shade, I better get going here. This isn't so bad.
Okay, so what I'm thinking here, instead of that string, I've got some fence wire. It's galvanized, it's fairly strong. If I can loop it through the hemmed edge that they got, I find myself thinking, man, this is working great, and I realize I'm still in the shade of the house. trying to keep this just as simple as possible so that I can knock it out real quick and I think we're there that wire trick seemed like it worked pretty well maybe that's the easiest I'll just loop some wire into it because I don't think it's going to catch the wind in a way that it's going to want to just rip it off if I, if I attach it to the house too good and if we really get a hard wind it'll just pull the end of the house off so <laughs> I laugh but that would be about my luck like for instance, in the winter, I'll take this down. All I gotta do is undo the wires on this end, and then I can just wrap the whole thing up around the piece of PVC pipe and leave the, leave the pipe on. I'll just leave the hooks up there. <laughs> 